what is going on my peoples my people people my plant people um today is uh christmas so uh happy holidays to you and yours um i just want to show you my december favorites so i got my uh favorites from my ikea greenhouse so i'm gonna go through them real quick i'll tell you how i got them um, as far as like the medium and things like that, I'll tell you a little story behind them. Um, and actually one of these is my, um, 2022 favorites or, um, wish list plants. And I'll have that one last, but let's get into it. Um, as always, uh, make sure you subscribe, um, like, notify, uh, press the notification button just in case you want to see me a little bit more um and always share with your friends for sure and i appreciate it um but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna get into it real quick so um i have uh some very unusual ones but i absolutely love to see them in there and then i'll try to add in some video um of where they are in the greenhouse so yeah so um my first one here is the rick brack cactus now the first time I seen this plant, I was like, what in the H word is this? But now that I have it, um, I bought like a smaller one. So it was uh, maybe just that much, this up here. Um, and probably not even that much, really. Um, and I haven't changed the soil or anything that it's in. So it's in the same soil that it came in when I bought it. But literally, uh, I use this plant to shade other plants that are down below and i'll show you when i'm showing the video um but this plant absolutely loves sun and it dries out pretty quickly so i typically have to water this maybe maybe about twice a week i'll just run it under the faucet just to make sure the soil is completely wet and then i'll uh water the actual leaves on here so this plant is it's pretty wild and i think that's probably why i like it um, so it'll grow something like this right here, right? Um, and then if you kind of see, it'll start growing from the side of it. So literally, um, this plant, I mean, it's, it's, it's really wild. It's really crazy. Um, and it's easy to propagate. All you really do is just take one off, put it on top of some soil, and it'll start to uh, grow. So really, I can have... A lot of these I actually have two of these as you can see in the video um, and then you can see that it is an epiphytic type of plant which means it grows so this plant um, you will probably see in like the jungle or something like that um, and it'll climb the trees uh, I probably can put it on the pole and it'll probably give it a different shape I actually haven't seen one of these on a tree if I do see a photo maybe I can look it up on um, Google then I'll add it um, to one of these sides over here um, but yeah I absolutely love this plant everything about it um, it got like little hairs on it it grows pretty rambunctious um, I can't wait to see it like bigger than this right here I mean it's definitely way longer than like my head um, yeah I, I pretty much like everything about it this is uh, the Rick Rack um, cactus it has some a similar like cousin um called the like fishbone one but that one is a lot more thin and i think it's a lot more wide this one here is very thick um like it's almost kind of like belt like it feels um very leathery so um that's the way that i can tell that one and i don't think the fishbone goes as wild as this one if you have a fishbone because i don't have a fishbone um definitely drop it down below how you tell the difference um or what's the patterns of it but this one right here i, I really do love um and like look at that that's so interesting right it just got like little fingers or whatnot but yeah so the first one i have is the rick crack cactus um absolutely love this one here so the next one that I have is the uh, pretty much my state represented plant, or at least that's how I treat it. 
this is the Florida uh, ghost or whatnot. Some people may look at this and say like that's the mint. Um, I mean, you can say it's like a mint or whatnot, but um, I kind of propagated my Florida ghost and I put this and pretty much just sphagnum moss. That's pretty much all it grows in. No look at the bottom like I typically do, but um, yeah, so these leaves right here will get uh, white um, and then it will change change its color to like this right here, um, this leaf shape here, or it just stays white. But when it stays white, it typically dies because there's no photosynthesis in it, unless there are like more green leaves is what I noticed. So um, I like this one. I think that there are about three plants in here. I think I was just cutting and propagating and sometimes I propagate stuff and I don't really know what I'm gonna do with it next. But it's in my greenhouse and I feel like it loves it. Um, I have it right by my uh, philodendron 69686 and something else I have over there. But um, yeah, I love where it is. I think it takes up a good amount of space for what I need it to. And um, it really doesn't show out um, on me. Leaves don't really die on this one. It just keeps growing. As you can see that there, there is another leaf right there unfurling. Um, I've had this in the cup for about a couple months um, and it is really nice. I like um, kind of like those petals right there. You can see how red it is right there. That's pretty dope to me. Um, and then it's Florida. So there's like Florida Beauty, Florida Ghost, Florida Mint, Florida, 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 whatever, you know. But I like that uh, it it is called Florida. And I think it's called Florida just because of kind of like the half shape of it kind of looks like a little Florida or something like that. Maybe that's why they called it that. I haven't really looked it up, but it's called Florida, so... I like it for what it is, but that is my number two. And of course these are in no particular order. I just took them out as ones I always uh, look at. I kind of pick on, I kind of like check and inspect and stuff like that. So that's how I typically found these ones. Um, my next one, I really, really love. I can't wait till I put it on a bigger like moss pole. Um, and as you see, I try to do like a cactus, I did a philodendron. So right now I have a monstera because of course, like if you have a, um, if you have a plant collection and don't have like a favorite monstera, I just can't believe you always gotta have a favorite monstera. I was gonna do um, my, 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 my album monstera, but y'all always see that one. And y'all probably haven't seen this one yet, but I do like this one here. Um, the Sutapakana is really nice. Uh, when it gets bigger, it has a lot more silver in it. Um, and then the leaves are a lot more bigger. They don't get as big, at least from what I've seen, as like normal Monsteros Delicio Deliciosos. Um, but it gets a nice size and they look really nice. Uh, what I would like to do is for this to grow, I'll chop it kind of like halfway, put it down there in the propagation and let it grow so it can be a lot more bunchy, I guess. Um, but I just kind of rigged the pole. This is like um, some like school separators, like the, the, uh, the plastic separators. I got some plastic, um, like chicken wire and some zip ties, pretty much made this and put some um, sphagnum moss in there. The soil um, is kind of like regular, Regular store that I normally use, sphagnum moss, orchid bark, um, probably some actual plant soil in there, some uh, perlite. Down here is LECA. Um, and as you can kind of see, I don't know if you can kind of see, but there are water roots down there. So I typically will, um, and I just filled this one up. So I typically will put water here and it will water, of course, the soil. And then it'll actually water the uh, sphagnum moss on the backside. So it works uh, in tandem. Um, and this one can kind of dry out sometimes. So I'll sometimes like spray the actual sphagnum moss itself. Um, as you can kind of see, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but there are actual area roots going into the uh, sphagnum moss. 
which is pretty dope. Um, so once once you actually put a plant on a pole and you start to see roots, um, you can uh, tell from after that the leaves will start to get a lot bigger um, because it trusts that it can actually climb and elevate. And of course, plants grow upward so it can get closer to the sun and get more light or whatnot. So of course, this one is gonna grow up and it's gonna have bigger and bigger leaves, just kind of like showed on my Cebu Blue um, Pathos. Kind of goes one and the same thing, but this here is the Centipacana, um, Mustera Centipacana. Um, a really nice plant. Um, I just like the different patterns on there. I think that's pretty unique. Um, and then the silver pattern is pretty pretty dope too. Um, but yeah, the Philodendron Centipacana. Um, next, I went with an Anthurium. So, um, this Anthurium I bought from a person. I think I tried to transfer it into some more soil and then uh, it started to die, so I propagated it. So when I propagated it, it propagated very well, as you will see. And um, I didn't really know what to do with it, so I just got like a $5 jar from Walmart. Um, put some leca at the bottom, some sphagnum moss, because it was growing sphagnum moss, so I just kind of kept it the same. And I pretty much just kind of got like, got, pretty much got like a bouquet of these anthuriums. So I'll show you right now. So this here is the Anthurium radican. Um, I believe that this is just the actual radican itself and no other like dressler, dressler, dressleri or um, like spades or anything like that, which I have like a luxurium radicans or whatnot. Um, I actually have it right near me so you can actually see somewhat of a difference. Um, so this here is the Anthurium Radican Luxurian. Pretty similar, um, but of course with the Luxurian you have the bigger leaves. I'm not particularly sure if the Radican can get that big, um, but I would love if it got this big like this right here. Um, I absolutely love the mix the Radican and Luxurian, but the Radican itself, I do love itself too. Um, it's kind of like little baby serpent heads kind of like to me. So it's like, uh, kind of like a little daycare. I kind of call it like the little Anthurium daycare. Um, like I said, I put um, Leca at the bottom and it pretty much just bagged them off. So it typically stays wet. Um, it seems to like it. Um, you can, you know, as I kind of rotate it, I know that the reflector or the 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 light is kind of reflecting on it but if you can kind of see as i rotate it the thick area roots um or the thick roots it really actually loves this setup um i really only had maybe one leaf die in here and that was probably due to um, it being an older leaf but these new leaves are coming in really well um I, like I said, I, this setup has been probably maybe maybe three or four months, really, probably uh, maybe a little bit longer than that, actually. Um, but it actually loves this setup. I actually want to do some other plants like this right here when I propagate it, and it propagates very well. There are about, maybe about six different um, radicans in here, um, and they're not really um, fighting over any room. Um, and it's kind of a grow slower. Uh, it's kind of a slow grower. Um, so I don't really see me having to repot this anytime soon. If the leaves do get really big, um, I'll then evaluate it then. Uh, Reevaluate to see what, um, what I need to do to it next. But right now, I like how it looks. Um, it sits down at the bottom of my IKEA green cabinet, greenhouse cabinet. So, um, it, I mean, it does well, so I don't really want to bother it too much. And I like how it looks. I don't really do too much to it. I give it its nutrients when I water it, um, and it seems to grow pretty well. So uh, I'm gonna keep it like it is right now. But um, I kind of want to do a lot of my other anthuriums and uh, Lucas sphagnum moss, um, but I'll do that on another, um, I'll do that on another, uh, show episode taping video whatever you call this um but yeah that is my anthurium 
um, Radicans. And then last but not least, like I said, this is my 22, 2022 um, wish list. So this plant used to be um, at Equigenera. That's where I first kind of seen it at. Um, and then I saw it a couple times on um, on Instagram, on Instagrams, just like uh, Kodak would say. Um, and instantly I loved it. I don't know exactly what it is about it, but um, it's just very weird to me. It's very different to me. Um, I like to see it climb or trail, whatever it is. It used to be very expensive. This plant would run about 100, 150, and they would not come down. So it really took me just patience because um, I'm not gonna spend $100 on this plant. But as I have it right now, I probably could have back then, but I'm glad I waited to it went down on sale to about 55, I think 55 to 60. Um, and when I seen it, I just knew I was going to go ahead and get it. So I was already prepared. Um, that is the philodendron tortum. Um, I love this plant. I like uh, how, I guess, how kind of like bushy it looks. It looks like a palm, but the palm is climbing. And I just find that to be just so interesting. Um, it's a pretty easy going plant. I still have it and what I bought it from at Equigenera in this like plastic pot. And you can kind of see it even have like, still got the tag and everything on it. Um, I did accidentally break it. And as you can kind of see right there at the top, it has a new leaf growing. Um, from what I have heard about this plant, it likes humidity and it likes heat. So, um, when my Patricia was getting way too big, which she's still doing good, uh, Patty LaBelle, that's why I nicknamed her. I moved her out and moved my tortum in. And as soon as I moved my tortum in, like I said, um, this leaf start emerging. So that tells me that it is doing well. And I think, like I said, I've only been, I've only had that that switch for maybe about a month and it seems to like it it's not dying i haven't lost any leaves it is pretty fragile so you have to watch how you um how you take hold of it or carry it or whatnot um i would like to get this on a moss pole but it's not really um it's not really an emergency um it still has time and yeah, I'm in really no rush to kind of um, put this on a moss pole. It's doing real good right now. I actually have the other piece um, sitting in my propagation box, which um, you'll probably see a little later. But I like this plant. Um, there's a Poitiotis or whatnot. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'll show a picture of it. And it's kind of similar. It's kind of like the more expensive one, but really, um, I don't really see me needing to have that one unless I see it maybe on sale or maybe it have a really good deal. But the Tortum, honestly, I really do love. Um, the name, like everything about it really, I just like how it looks. Like I said, it looks like a palm that's climbing. So it's, it's very interesting to me. But um, that's my five favorites. So I just want to make a little video. Um, hopefully uh, I can, like I said, keep doing two a week. Um, I'm in a good place in school, good a good place in life. So um, yeah, I got a little bit more time. So I'm actually appreciative of it. But um, definitely drop down your December favorites. What are you looking to buy in the New Year's? What are you looking to own or trade or um, like what are you propagating right now? Also, what are you um, looking forward to in the new year? I know I probably won't do another uh, video before the new year, so yeah, drop down your new year's resolution. Um, mine is to do very well on my internship that I have coming up in the early portion of January. I think I should be doing my, um, I think I should be doing my orientation January, like, 
early January, like maybe eight, nine, eight or nine or something like that. So I'm pretty excited. Um, if you haven't um, been following my page, this may be your first time. Um, I'm Jamon Green. I'm going for Imagine Family Therapy in my master's program. And yeah, you know, just stick with me. Um, I'm also thinking of making, maybe thinking of uh, adding a uh, Instagram page of my journey as a marriage and family therapist. So if you think you would like something like that, definitely drop that down below. I'm kind of looking into it. I think I'm gonna exit on my Instagram page, on my regular Instagram page, University of Jamon, um, and see what maybe the people like, if they wanna see like what my journey looks like as a therapist, um, which I think would be pretty fun. But I kept you long enough. I appreciate you if you got down to the end of this video. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your subscription. Thank you for your likes. Thank you for your comments. Um, thank you for sharing. Um, I really appreciate you. Um, this does mean a lot to me. This is uh, something I love to do on the side. Um, I don't get paid to do it. I just, you know, I just love plants. I just picked them up one day and just couldn't stop. So this is definitely, uh, this, this is definitely my addiction. And I'm uh, happy that I can share my addiction with you, which is so funny. But as always, um, Merry Christmas to you. Um, happy Kwanzaa. Um, Merry holidays. Happy holidays. However you celebrate it, just be safe out here. Um, definitely show love to those who love you. And as always, love, peace, and plants.